good evening, Mike Belgrave with his disgusting <laughs> stories, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes. What a, what a life. <laughs> and a stage that doubles up as a storage cupboard. I feel good. <laughs> How are you? I've got a stupid haircut. We've got this getting out of the way right now. We can all relax. I've addressed the issue. Just relax now. <laughs> got a review for my act. He accused me of wearing a wig. Said he was confused because I never took it off once. As if that's what all wig wearers do. <laughs> hey, Nick. <laughs> Doesn't happen. I like you already. There's a man eating his own small finger. What does that mean? <laughs> is, that, is that last joke that bad? I'm out of here, one digit at a time. <laughs> Fat ledge guy. I don't want to be rude and walk across his stage during his gig. I'll just eat myself to death. <laughs> Trust me, I've had worse. That's fine. I'm flattered. In fact, I'm flattered by your politeness. He says, all right, lads. Yeah. Doing okay? Would I be alright in your game? Would I be allowed in? No? Wouldn't work, would it? Chemistry's all wrong. Yeah, the hair's... Yeah, the hair's wrong, isn't it? Yeah, you've got the nice... You've got the... <laughs> so you just put the gel in both hands, you do the... You've got your hand movements. I don't know, it wouldn't work. No, it wouldn't suit my personality. No. People would expect more of me. No. I just let people down all over the place. Oh, here comes that normal guy. No, they start talking to me. Oh, actually, no, let's talk to him. No, no, I shouldn't have that haircut. That's very misleading. Get a silly haircut, mate, then uh, people will be able to know who you are. You've got a nice face. You've got the, uh, the kind of face. You've got a nice. You could do bad things, and no one would believe their story. With that face, can I? Yeah, right, lovely. You know, judges throwing it out of court. Not with that face, you didn't. Case dismissed. <laughs> have a good time, knock yourself out. Well, knock them out, if you want to. Yeah. They wouldn't believe her. Yeah, fine, that's all right. We'll leave that conversation there, there's enough of that. Uh, I've lost, uh, everyone's now thinking, that disgusting man, I thought he was quite nice before. I know he's talking about punching women. I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm joining that bloke. Yeah. Lovely. I, uh, I was at a bus stop today and this woman goes, hello dear. I said, hello, how are you? She goes, oh, an English accent. That's rare these days, isn't it? Don't know where you are anymore, do you? Don't know where you are anymore, do you? I don't know where you are anymore, do you? Anymore, do you? So I hopped on a bus, but it was the wrong bus. So when I got off, I didn't know where I was anymore, did I? <laughs> Turns out she was a prophet, not a racist. <laughs> never take people at face value, eh? <laughs> alright. You seem alright, I'm gonna try this. Who's this? Ah! <laughs> Anyone? Hitler! No, not Hitler. <laughs> Not far off though, the shop put at a wedding. <laughs> uh, pretty close there. Sorry to spin on you. Yeah, not far off. Yeah, that's right. Got to keep your eyes open, mate. Yeah. That's what I like about boiling water. If you notice, boiling water's always got its eyes open, isn't it? <laughs> boiling water's always paying attention, even in full flow. Because even if you add more boiling water from the kettle into the boiling water in the pan, the boiling water in the pan still goes, huh? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> likes to know what's happening. <laughs> then the frozen peas come in and the boiling water goes, oh no. <laughs> I've got to start again now. <laughs> and it takes the enthusiasm of the younger boiling water to inspire the older boiling water to start again. Come on, Dad, we can do it. See, look. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> There's no ending to this joke. Really. <laughs> I just stopped. Yeah, there we are. Uh, so you didn't get any closure on that joke. Then. Let's check the time, see if it's time to do my watch joke. Oh, there it is. You should never wear your watch around that side in case a small child asks you the time when you're frying some onions. What's the time, Mum? 3.30, hmm? darling. Time for you to die. Time for me to get my life back. I'm glad he didn't laugh at that. That's a sick joke. And you're very, you're obviously a very classy audience. I appreciate that, buddy. 
Thank you for correcting me. You all right? You've lost faith now, haven't you? You see it, you just look down, you're looking at your own shoes. No, I like to, I like the water jug. No. I look at my own shoes till he goes away. <laughs> if there's a TV, I'd change the channel. <laughs> the thing about live comedy, you can't do that. Ten pounds are paid for this. <laughs> Sorry. That's fine, up. It's okay. Well, it's not okay, but it's okay. It's fine, whatever. Whatever? Good, okay. We both agreed on whatever. Good. I worry that if I don't sort my personality out now, I'll end up becoming a dirty old man. You know, down the park. In a bush. And I like to think that I'd be the...